Hello, I'm Stephen with the Idaho Council for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe and healthy. We are definitely living in challenging times. At this time, we are being required to stay in our homes and self-isolate. Many of us are unable to work, and some of us are working from home. We're unable to gather together. Our kids are unable to go to school, and we're only allowed to enter businesses that are deemed essential. Many aspects of our lives are not normal, making this such a trying time in our lives. I want to thank you for your commitment to doing your part in all of this. Together, we can beat coronavirus. I'd like to provide an update regarding the coronavirus in Idaho as of today, April 15, 2020. So far, there are 1,486 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Idaho. Unfortunately, there have been 39 coronavirus-related deaths reported in the state of Idaho so far. You may recall that on March 25th, our governor, Brad Little, hosted a press conference and signed a statewide stay-home order. This required most businesses, with the exception of some businesses that are deemed essential, to close their doors and halt operations. Additionally, the governor ordered citizens of Idaho to stay home and work remotely if necessary. Originally, this order was intended to last for three weeks. At this point, the governor and all of Idaho hoped that we would be able to return to life as normal. Today, April 15th, was supposed to be the final day of this 21-day stay-home order. However, this morning, the governor called another press conference and announced that the stay-home order has been extended for an additional two weeks and is scheduled to end on April 30th. This means that we must continue to comply with the order by staying home, practicing social distancing, and businesses that are not deemed essential must remain closed until April 30th. The governor did make an amendment to this stay-home order for non-essential businesses. The governor announced that these businesses may open if they are able to alter their operations to follow the governor's orders of maintaining social distancing with all customers and can sanitize their place of business often. If this is not possible, businesses can open if they can provide services through a delivery or curbside pickup method. If these businesses choose to reopen, they must comply with all of the stipulations in the stay home order. So again, with the governor's announcement, the stay-home order has been extended until April 30th. At the completion of these two weeks, the governor and his team will reevaluate the situation in Idaho to determine when it will be safe to lift the order. More information about extending or ending the stay-home order will be released after April 30th. The governor is aiming to have our economy, businesses, and lives back to normal soon. Please continue to abide by the governor's stay-home order so we can work together to beat this. Please stay safe and healthy, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Council for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Thanks for watching.